Hi, good afternoon. This is Afnan from Afnan Aquaponic. Another question that is frequently asked by reader of my blog is that pH of aquaponic system, what is the ideal pH? And whether fish will affect uh, pH value of the system, the amount of fish that is in the tank. Let me answer it briefly with regards to pH. And later on, we'll talk about how we can adjust pH effectively to make sure we have the proper pH value in our aquaponic system. Ideally, the pH will be roughly around 6 to 7. That's the, the best value that you can have uh, for fish and plants. For fish, it can uh, tolerate roughly around 5.5 to 7.5 pH and plants around 6 to 7.5 if the pH value is too high above 7.5 8 pH plant can have a problem with them they call the nutrient lock lockout basically so what happened is that uh, if the pH value is too high roughly around 8 or above plant will not be able to absorb the nutrient or essential uh, minerals that is needed by for them to uh, grow properly sometimes you can find plants with yellowing leaf like almost like iron deficiency uh, that is what can be caused by pH which is too high so if you have yellowing leaf first check whether the pH value is too high and for uh, fish you can basically tolerate a value of roughly around 5.5 to 7.5 and to acidic lower than that uh, fish can have problem another thing that we have to take note about pH value in an aquaponic system is the bacteria nitrification process naturally uh, will cause uh, pH to go down is as the pH go down uh, in value there will be a certain uh, equi equilibrium point where the bacteria will not be able to do the nitrification process anymore and because bacteria cannot survive if pH value is too low so roughly a pH value of 5.5 is an acceptable value for nitrification process to continue uh, having said that, in an aquaponic system, due to the nitrification process, naturally, the pH will always tend to go down lower and lower. But as I mentioned earlier, it will be reach an equilibrium level. And to have a low pH value like five or five point five. It's not an ideal situation as mentioned. The idea will be around 6 to 7. And best if it, we can maintain it to roughly around 7 pH. And it's common practice that if the pH value is too low, we will add, uh, we will buffer the aquaponic water by adding either calcium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide or they, you can add carbonates calcium carbonates or potassium carbonates and I take the natural approach I will use things like limestone as an example here limestones that I use for pH adjustment limestones the simple limestones I put it inside the pots or just scattered it uh, inside the fish tank what will happen is that as the water acidity drops increase sorry as the pH value drops acidity increase the acid will be reacting with the limestone and naturally it will neutralize tend to neutralize the water and this from my 
uh, uh, from what I've practiced so far, the water pH is able to be maintained roughly around 7 pH. This is one of the easiest way to maintain pH in an aquaponic system. Just use limestone and let, let the natural uh, reaction of the limestone with acid uh, neutralize the uh, value of pH if it's going lower. And it's one point to take note, uh, those that use uh, buffer chemicals like calcium and potassium uh, it also depends on what kind of plants that you are planting if you are planting a lot of uh, leafy vegetables it's uh, advisable to use calcium carbonates or calcium uh, hydroxide and if you are more towards uh, fruiting plants uh, it's best to add potassium potassium carbonate or potassium hydroxide because those plants require either calcium or potassium so this is basically your choice of what chemical to use or what buffer solution to use as I mentioned I will use uh, limestone which is very natural and easily and readily obtainable around my area and this is also much better in the sense that it will not cause the pH value to hunt. As you add buffer chemical, the pH value might hunt up or down depending on how much you add uh, because it will not react immediately, it will take time. However, due to the, the calcium or potassium uh, carbonates or hydroxide inside the fish tank, it will tend to cause the pH value to rise and then will probably fall again uh, as soon as the nitrification process happens. So by, by me using limestone, the process is more natural and more slow. It will stabilize uh, better as from what I've experienced. Okay, uh, that's about it with regards to pH value. and. One thing that I forgot to mention is that the number of fish don't really affect uh, pH value in the aquaponic system. The nitrification process is the one that causes the pH value to go down. And most of the time, we need to buffer it up by using alkaline, in either in the form of carbonates or hydroxide, or in my case, I will use limestone. Right. Thanks for watching. Bye.